lovelies! I hope you're all well. So we have four new Maker Blades. How amazing is that? So there's the Perforation Blade, the Debossing Tip, the Wavy Blade, and the engraving tip. An engraving tip is something that a lot of us have wanted for a really long time. So this is fantastic. So we're going to dive straight in, we're going to look at the blades, we're going to talk about them, we're going to see what you can do with them. So we've got our four blades here. So there's the basic perforation blade, which I'm really excited about. We then have the fine debossing tip. So debossing is where it's sunk into your paper or card, which is really exciting. There's the wavy blade and then the engraving tip. I think everyone will be super excited for this one. Something that I'm really excited about with these new four blades is that they are compatible with the quick swap housing, which is going to save you a huge amount of money and it's something that I think is fantastic because it eliminates the need to buy a new housing system every time that Cricut bring out a new blade for the maker. So for me I think it's wonderful. So basically with the quick swap housing, so if you've got the scoring wheel with the quick swap housing, it means that you will not need to buy the new blades or tips with their housings. They will fit into the housing that your scoring wheel does. So I've got the engraving tip here. I'm just going to remove it from its quick swap housing. And to do that, you just press the button at the top. I've got my scoring wheel housing. Again, I'm just gonna press the button and remove my scoring wheel. I've then got my engraving tip and I'm just going to push the button down, slip it on and then release the button and the engraving tip is now in the quick swap housing. Equally this is the housing that came with the engraving tip, this is my scoring wheel, again I'm just going to push the button down, slide it into place and then release the button and my scoring wheel is then attached. So you only need one quick swap housing. So as I say, if you've already got your scoring wheel, then you do not need to buy any of the new blades or tips with the housings. You can just buy them individually. If you don't have the scoring wheel or the quick swap housing, you will need to buy one of the tips with the housings and then the rest of the tips you can just get those on their own. So it's going to save you from having to keep buying the quick swap housing. You only need one of those. So these are going to be in the States imminently. Uh, here in the UK we're looking around the August September mark but that is yet to be fully confirmed. So in terms of pricing, I've got some recommended retail prices here. So the wavy blade and the quick swap housing will be around the 49.99 mark. The wavy blade on its own will be around the 29.99 mark. The basic perforation blade and the quick swap housing will again be around the 49.99 mark. Perforation blade on its own will be around about the 29.99 mark. Fine debossing tip with the quick swap housing will be around about £44.99 and the tip on its own will be around the 24.99 mark. And then the engraving tip with the quick swap housing again looking around the 44.99 mark and for the engraving tip on its own will be about 24.99 so as i say you only need to buy one of these with the quick swap housing and the rest you can just get the blade on their own so this is the perforation blade it comes with a protective cover so there we go that is the perforated blade how cool is that so this is the debossing tool and you can see there's like a weird kind of clear dot at the end of it. That is the debosser. So here we've got the engraving tip. It's really hard to pick it up but it's it's got a real fine point on it. 
So again, the wavy blade comes with a protective cover, which you'll need to remove. And then it's so hard to pick it up, but it has got a real wave to the blade. It's a really funny looking blade. Cannot wait to give this a go. So when the tools are released, you'll notice a big difference in design space. So if we come up to the corner here, you'll see that you can actually choose between the Explore family and the Maker. So I've just got a simple image here. If we go to Explore family and we go to Line Type, you'll see we've got Cut, Draw and Score. If we go to Cricut Maker and we choose line type, you'll then see we've got cut, draw, score, engrave, deboss, wave and perf, which is for the perforator blade. I've just got a design space image here and we're going to look at the fine debossing tip first. So if we go to line type, you'll see if we click down, we've now got more options, or we will have. So you'll see there's engrave, deboss, wave, and perforate. So we're going to choose deboss. So the debossing tool can be used on a variety of products, including foil cardstock, coated paper, shimmer and glitter paper, as well as basswood and other materials. So if we go to make it, you'll see it's come up saying find deboss. We can go to continue. So if we go to browse all materials, I can show you exactly what materials you can use with the debossing tool. So we've got art illustration board, foil poster board, heavy chipboard, craft board, light chipboard, map board, metallic poster board, poster board, medium cardstock, We've then got tooling leathers of different mediums. We've got deluxe paper, heavy watercolour paper, vellum, balsa wood, and then we've got foil tape, shiny side down, and foil tape, shiny side up. We're going to be using foil poster board today. And it's telling us we need to load our fine deboss tip in our blade clamp. I've got some foil poster board here, I'm just going to feed that in and then it's going to start debossing for us. So every so often the blades will do a rotation and it just means that they're working fine and it's absolutely fine. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. I am so blown away by this. I absolutely love that. I really do. That is just amazing. So we're back in design space. Again, we're still using our debossing tool, but this time we want to cut with it. So I've got a draw image here from design space. So I'm just gonna go to line type. I'm going to change it to deboss. I'm then going to highlight both. I've got my square here, which I've then turned white. I'm going to align and I'm just going to center. And then all I'm going to do is attach them. So what it will do is it will deboss my image, but it will cut out my square. So we can then go to make it. So you'll see it says find deboss and cut. So we can go to continue. Again, we're using foil poster board. And it's gonna tell us we need to load our fine deboss tip. And it's also telling us that the additional tools we need is our fine point blade. So once it's done debossing, it will then tell us to load our fine point blade.
we've done the debossing part and now it's telling us we need to swap out our debossing blade and put in our premium fine point blade. we're going to look at the engraving tip. I am so, so excited about this. So Cricut are actually bringing out their own metal sheets. I currently don't have these. So I've got some anodized aluminium etching sheets here. Now these are not Cricut ones because they couldn't get them to me. Um, hopefully there'll be some American influencers that have got them, you'll be able to see how they work. But I have been reassured that when the etching blade is released over here, the Cricut sheets will also be here. And as always, it's recommended that you do use Cricut products with the Cricut blades. So the first thing we need to do again is change the line type and we're going to change it to engrave. Say so you can see it says engrave so we can go to continue. So if we go to browse all materials you'll see we've got foil poster board, anodized aluminium, brass, bronze, stainless steel, again there's tooling leather, heavy watercolor paper, vellum, We've got thick acrylic and thin acrylic as well. Now I've got some acrylic for us to try. I've got it at two mils, which I'm assuming is gonna be thick acrylic, but we'll give that a go. First of all, we're going to do the anodized aluminium. Now, exactly the same as with the knife blade, Cricut have recommended that if you're using the engraving tip, you do use masking tape to keep your item in place. look at that that is amazing now the one thing it has shown is as knife blade you do have to think about where you've put your masking tape uh, that's obviously something I didn't think of uh, I don't know why because I should be used to it by now with the knife blade but that is just amazing I am so so impressed with that that is just amazing I am in absolute awe of that so I've got some acrylic here, this is two millimetres. Now I have checked on acrylic craft, I didn't get any because I just didn't have the time to get them ordered and here. But they do, with their um, box frame uh, frontages, some of them that have already got the money box slits and things in, they do do them two mils. So we will look at that, I will get some of that ordered. Uh, I will try different acrylic craft um, depths and we'll see kind of more as to how it will work with acrylic but for the time being I've just got a generic 2mm piece of acrylic here. So I've obviously taken the protective sheet off the front but I've left it on the back and again we've come in with our masking tape. <laughs> Because this is obviously clear, I need to find a way to be able to show you, but it has worked and it's worked really well. 
it'd be nice like if you've got a floating frame or you've got a box frame it'd be nice to do some filigree or something so the next blade we're going to look at is the perforation blade and i'm really excited by this one there are endless endless possibilities with this one i mean you could go really simple you could go really out there think of all the cards you can do you can do uh, you know reveal cards it's just endless come christmas we can look at doing advent calendars i'm going to keep it really really basic i'm just going to show you a very simple perforated uh, pull up flap for lack of a better word uh, but I am going to be doing more detailed projects throughout the week that are going to look at the different blades. This is more of a quick look video at each of the blades. So I've just got two rectangles here, I've just duplicated them and then I've got a rectangle here. So my top line I've got as a score and I want to keep that as a score and then the rest of the lines I want to change to perforated. Now I've made sure that they're all overlapping because I want them to be. I'm going to draw a square around and I'm going to attach them. You'll see that they keep exactly as they should. We're going to bring them over to our piece of card. I'm going to highlight. We're going to align and center. And then again, we're just going to attach. And then of course you could decorate the cards, you could decorate the outside of the card, you could put something in here so that when you open up the tab you're revealing something. I just want to very quickly show you the basics. So you can see it says score, basic perf and cut so we can go to continue. We can see all the different materials available for the perforated blade. So we've got corrugated cardboard, foil poster board, craft board, light chip board, metallic poster board, poster board, glitter cardstock, holographic cardstock, medium cardstock, craft foam, everyday iron on, glitter iron on, patterned iron on, copy paper, deluxe paper, foil paper, pearl paper, shimmer paper, sparkle paper, vellum foil acetate and premium vinyl. Not quite sure about the vinyl and the iron-on, how that's going to work. I need to have a play with that. Um, have a real think about how that would, how that would work. Maybe think a little bit outside the box, but we'll certainly explore it. And as I say, throughout the week, I'm going to be doing more detailed projects. For now, we're just going to be using craft board. So it's going to get us to load the scoring wheel first, then it will tell us to load the perforation blade and then it will tell us to load the fine point blade. So I've got the scoring wheel in there first, so I'm just going to load my mat and then let it score. So it's then telling me to load the perforation blade, so we're just going to remove our scoring wheel. and add the perforation blade in there. And it's then telling us we need to add our fine point blade. So you can see we've got our score line at the top and then we've got our perforated piece all the way around. We can then come in, I find the easiest way to do it is just to use your nail and we can then open up that tab. So you could have your card piece like this and then you would glue your tab piece on top and of course this would all be decorated, there'd be something underneath and then you would just lift up to reveal. So many options with this perforated blade. I am so excited by this. As I say, these are just quick kind of to show you how the blades work, but we will be doing more in depth projects with them. But I just think it opens up such a huge amount of world for you. So lastly, we're going to look at the wavy tool. Now this is something that I'm really excited about. And we're just gonna get a couple of different shapes. We're not going to, as I say, we're just having a quick look 
and just to see what it can do. And of course, there's so many different options with this. So I've just got my basic shapes here, and I'm just gonna change them to wave. Now, on the screen, it will still look like they look. It's really gonna be hard to gauge what it's gonna look like, but you can see that when we click them, they all say wave underneath. So we can then go to make it, you can see that this blade works with corrugated cardboard, foil poster board, craft board, glitter cardstock, holographic cardstock, medium cardstock, works with fabric, so cotton, denim, medium fabrics like cotton and medium fabrics like cotton bonded, felt, everyday iron-on, glitter iron-on, holographic iron-on, patterned iron-on, crepe paper, deluxe paper, foil paper, pearl paper, shimmer paper, sparkle paper, and tissue paper, foil acetate, and premium vinyl. Very, very excited by that. Loving all the different papers, the acetate. Just think, again, it will give you a whole scope. I love that it works with fabric and felt. I think that is going to be huge. I'm gonna use corrugated cardboard today. And it's going to tell us to load the wavy blade. Oh my goodness, so it just gives it a real nice wave. So you can really go really different with this. So if you're working with felt or fabric and you want it to have a wave, you could do that. If you were doing maybe a picture with felt, that would look really cool. Again, for card and paper, absolutely amazing so as I say we are going to be doing more kind of concentrated projects with each of the blades but I just wanted to give you an overview of these four new amazing tips and blades I am so excited by all of these I mean the engraving tip for me is something that I've wanted for a really really long time so really excited about that and I love that you can use it with acrylic we're going to look at that more the debossing tool again I mean that is just stunning really excited by that the wave tool I'll definitely use it and I think for me it will allow me to work with paper and card more which I'm excited about and the same with the perforation tool again it's going to open up unintended uh, a real kind of doorway for me in terms of things that I can do with card craft so very very excited as I say over the next week I will be doing more concentrated videos with a really good project for each blade and also going into more depth of the do's and don'ts with each of the blades. Uh, there are things that you can do with them, there are things that you can't do with them and we're going to look at that more. Let me know in the comments below which blade or tip you're excited about, uh, if there's something else that you maybe wanted, if you're happy with these options, if you're not happy with them, if you were hoping for something else. I personally am over the moon with these. I think that they're going to open up so many different worlds in your crafting. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon.